Hello friends, this is Jackson M. Doggett Jr. with another daily devotional. Our text today comes from Proverbs chapter 5, verses 1 through 23. It's the whole chapter. Uh, New Living Translation says, My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen carefully to my wise counsel. Then you will show discernment and your lips will express what you've learned. For the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is a bitter, is as bitter as poison, as dangerous as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to the grave. For she cares nothing about the path to life. She staggers down a crooked trail and doesn't realize it. So now, my sons, listen to me. Never stray from what I am about to say. Stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and will lose to merciless people all you have achieved. Strangers will consume your wealth and someone else will enjoy the fruit of your labor. In the end, you will groan in anguish when disease consumes your body. You will say how I hated discipline. If only I had not ignored all the warnings. Oh, why didn't I listen to my teachers? Why didn't I pay attention to my instructors? I have come to the brink of utter ruin and now I must face public disgrace. Drink water from your own well. Share your love only with your wife. Why spill the water of your springs in the streets having sex with just anyone? You should reserve it for yourselves. Never share it with strangers. Let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She is a loving deer, a graceful doe. Let her breast satisfy you always. May you always be captivated by her love. Why be captivated, my son, by an immoral woman and fondle the breast of a promiscuous woman? For the Lord sees clearly what a man does, examining every path he takes. An evil man is held captive by his own sins. They are ropes that catch and hold him. He will die for lack of self-control. He will be lost because of his great foolishness. Now, everything I said about a woman, the Bible can also say about a man. The bottom line is, do what's right by the one you're with. Do I need to say anything else? I don't think so. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the blessing of the person you've given to us. Help us to be faithful to you first and to them that we might be one as God is one. In Jesus' name, amen. Long text, short lesson, do the right thing. I'll see you again with another daily devotional.